Hey, it's James here. Today I'm just going to do a quick tutorial on how to apply materials when your material has an array. So this happens a lot if you've got objects where they've used different material groups for each material and you need to set them individually. So this asset from the Kenny website, for example, has two materials here, dirt and grass. I've gone ahead and I've made a few materials so that we can change them. And I'm just going to show you how to do this because there's a couple of catches where you can't just directly apply the material. And I've actually made this mistake more than once where it's taken me quite a while to figure out how to change these with C-sharp. So let's make a script to change the materials. And we'll open it up in Visual Studio. First thing we're going to need is a reference to the mesh renderer. This is where the material is stored. Now in this example, what I plan to do is flash the material, all them, change all the materials to white, and then we'll change them back to the original material. So I'm going to have a material for the white and then an array of materials, which will be the ones I'm going to change it back to. Now I'm not going to need the start function, but we are going to need two different functions to make this work. The first function will be the function which we call the start the flash, and the second one will be an I enumerator that's going to do the flash. Now to call the I enumerator, you just use start coroutine. Now you'll notice here that the flash has the squiggly underline and that's because you don't have a yield in it yet. So what we're going to do here is first of all, we're going to get the materials from the mesh renderer and put them into an array. Now what's important to remember here is mesh renderer.materials is a copy of the array, not the actual array, which is why when you set to it, you need to pass it a whole array and you can't change the individual materials. And next we're just gonna loop through all of the materials of the array and we're gonna change them to the ones that we want. And then after this for loop, we have to reapply it back to the mesh renderer. Next, I'm going to use the yield just to wait for about a quarter of a second before changing everything back. Now I'm just going to copy this whole chunk of code, except that I don't need to redefine materials again, so just like that and instead here we're going to go materials original so this looks all good now the only thing we need to do is actually call this function i'm just going to call it on mouse click and now this is all done let's go back to unity and set everything up now I'm just going to put my script onto the grass. I'm going to drag that in as the mesh renderer. I'm going to drag my material white in. And then paying attention to the order that they are in the array, which as you can notice here, is sometimes different to the order that they'll show underneath. And let's press play and give this a go. You can see when I click, all the materials over here change to white, and then they change back to the original. 
So I hope if you run into this problem like I did, this is an easy solution for you. It's something that's very simple to fix and get around, but it's just not the way that you would normally if there was only one material on there. If you found this useful, please like, subscribe or comment. It really helps me grow the channel and give me confidence to make more videos. I hope you're enjoying your game development.